Ow. My nose feels like it's bleeding, but it's not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> if I tilt my head up, you can see nose hairs. That's gross. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's what grows there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I'm thinking. Oh, let's play. Um... Oh, let's go. <laughs> Give me one second. Because I'm still thinking of something. Think away, mate. I will. Well, while you do that, I'm going to have an oatmeal bar. An oatmeal bar? All right. Yeah. I need a haircut. <clears throat> I got one. I'm pro Whoa! What the heck is up with that? Look at that. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. You're tired, dude. What the frick? It's just like this one section of hair that's just sticking out. Like, look. What the frick is going mm -hmm. on with that? <laughs> yeah, I can't even. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> Stay. No, Don't it's you not. Mr. Unicorn helmets on Destiny? I guess. I don't. I am a unicorn today. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> you just randomly did that. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's just like just one little piece that's like sticking hair, out. Like, like shove it underneath the bed only with your hair. So like go underneath the other hair. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it worked. Bro, oh my gosh, it's gonna like pop out literally. Randomly, like, boop. Yeah, so hello and welcome <laughs> to the Gamer Just Duo <laughs> podcast number 13. I've been sitting here trying to think of an intro, and that's all I got. Um, I am one of your hosts, TPC. You can call me Teddy. I have with me the man of the week every week, Eric Bailey. Bailey, yes, yeah, dude, yeah the words, aka Legend PV. Yes, yes, words. Okay. <laughs> I seriously have been sitting here trying to think of an intro for like that's what I was doing when I was saying hold on just just let me think and I was sitting here just like I couldn't think of anything that wasn't stupid <laughs> so this is our weekly I'm just gonna slam the table a lot apparently this is our weekly <laughs> entertainment <laughs> podcast that includes lots of talk about PlayStation Destiny gaming movies comics and TV is there anything else? No, that's pretty food. much it. Food. food. Yeah, yeah, we do talk about food a lot, actually. Now that, yeah, I never realized <laughs> that, but we do. And, uh, you know, the, the podcast where, you know, the, the host forgets to start his timer every week. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, and started. All right. Um, we didn't, I thought we wouldn't have a lot to talk about this week, but then, like, we sort of came up with a lot of stuff. So there, we have a lot of stuff now. There wasn't mm -hmm. really a lot of news, but we do have a lot to talk about, technically. Yeah. So let's start like we always do, or we always try to do. <laughs> what have we been playing this week? I'm gonna, you know what, oh, Eric? Gosh. Let's 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 switch it up. Let's start with you. Oh. Boom. Um. Well, obviously, this week has been um. Iron Banner week mm. uh, in Destiny, and try there's a scout rifle uh, at rank five that ha it's pretty much a fate bringer, yeah. which is uh, three thirty one fate amazing. bringer. Amazing. So that's what a lot of people have been working towards, and so by grinding mm. on that hard grind to rank five Iron Banner. Well. Lol. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I love how both of our reactions was just uh, that long. and Rogue Legacy. Rogue Legacy is awesome, and Eric is now starting to realize how awesome it is. It's amazing. Yeah, At it's first, amazing. I was like, "Wow, this is impossible! How am I supposed to play this?" <laughs> yeah, but now what you understand. You just gotta like some... casually get money and then upgrade until you're stronger. Yeah, and you learn how to dodge stuff. And yeah, you stuff. yeah you get better as you go. That's definitely true. Yeah. But um, anything else? I'm trying to think if you've played um, at I least play with little, me. I play a little transistor. Yeah, that game is really good. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm really close to the end. Um, you played Nazgoth a little bit. Yes, we played some Nazgoth. I got Nazgoth. rank eight. 
Dang, dude. And four Congrats. levels to get to ten for another class. I'm not sure what classes we're gonna get though. I'm. Pr I would no, probably do the deceiver. Vampire class. Yeah, I would do a vampire. Or um. No, oh, I think it'd be fun to play as bat and fly around. But I don't know. Yeah. I feel like that class is really weak. At the same time. Yeah. But it's fun to like. It's What's really annoying to get summer? picked up. So I assume picking up people and just flying away would be really satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it would. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a vampire next class unlock. Let's see. I'm trying to think if you played anything else with me at Summoner. least. This week. Uh, we... I think that's it. We played a lot of a lot of Iron Banner. Yeah, we're still on Iron Banner grind. We're almost there, though. Both of us are yeah. rank four. Past four. Yeah. I'm close to like, like, past four. Lick it. Yeah, I'm gonna like, right like after this. Up, I'm probably gonna do it that. and like kissing it. Right yeah, now. Ryan. Ryan already has it. <laughs> He's just making out with it all day. Dude, he he got he got the shotgun as well. Its fire rate is like utter trash. Yeah, but that's its impact sad. is like insane. So basically, if you land a shot, it's almost like yeah, and it has like insane range as well. But so. if you miss land a shot, if you miss, it's over. Okay, that's I kind of like that. You know, I was it'd listening... Be for, it would be good for PvE when the buff yeah. comes up. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Mm. I uh, I was good. listening to... I don't remember what it is. I don't know. I was listening to some people talk about Destiny, and they were talking about um, how Destiny really does a good job of being really situational. Like... Mm. It, with what you use and what wep like what weapons and armor you use. And I was like... That's really true. In other games, yeah. I just sort of go in with, like, a generic loadout, and it almost always does fine. But in Destiny, if it's you this map, I need to use a sniper. If it's this sniper. map, I got to use a shotgun. If it's this, I can use Black Hammer. If not, I use Icebreaker. If not Icebreaker, I use Suros. And then, like, on this certain raid, I use this certain armor because it's the one that gets me to 32. And then, I don't know. Right. It's really cool. I like how they did that. Like, I never really noticed that. That's a lot different from... For right. most games and they're still working on doing that like that's why they're buffing fusion rifles and all that because or no pulse rifles sure. and because they want like everything to be viable so that they can use it right. in all different situations um let's see i guess that's all that you've been playing i have been playing from last Monday, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get to that. From last <laughs> Monday on, I don't think I played. I played Transist. I've been playing Transistor on and off. I'm. I feel like I'm really close to the end of that. Um, I play. Oh yeah, I played a bit of Ali Ali, which is a really, really, really fun game, but it's really difficult. So I, I stopped because I'm like, I'm probably never gonna beat this but i'll i'll sit down with it again later it's a nice i feel like it'd be a i feel like it's a good vita game um and then so transistor ollie ollie i also bought oh no i'll, I'll lead bought. yeah i'll lead that in a, into its own topic um we get yeah I'm, I'm gonna add that as our first topic right here new games uh well Play. new games but i'm also gonna put Critics' choice sale. Okay. And new games. So, Transistor, Ali Ali. Anything else that I played? I played Destiny, Iron Banner a bunch. Um, we raided on Tuesday. Still haven't raided since. It's very <laughs> sad. Um, on PS4, that is it, I think. I feel like I've played more, but... I'm forgetting. Nazgoth I played on PC with Derek and Nate. Nate is playing stuff with us, by the way, guys. Update. Mm -hmm. He he okay, well actually, yeah, we'll talk about we'll talk about that when we get to the new games topic. Cause that ties in very nicely. Um Yeah, it does. Iron Banner. Uh yeah. And then last but not least, so you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this. I bought some things on um, yeah, on right. Amazon, and I'll I'll make the the rest of what I bought another short little topic. But for now, check this out. It's my Vito. Dang, look at all those freaking finger fingerprints. 
thumbprints or whatever. But yeah, it's my Vita, but it has a freaking grip on it now. So it, this thing feels like, look at that, there's grooves for your fingers. It feels so freaking comfortable. It, it feels like I'm holding a DualShock 4. So literally before we were before we started recording, I was doing this. I was just pointing to the camera and playing Persona 4 <laughs> to Eric. So yeah, Persona 4 Golden has got its hooks in me again. It is really, really good. Like it's it's really addicting. <laughs> and I will I will rescue this guy from this bathhouse eventually. But yeah, I I am gonna play tons more of the games on my Vita because like I could play my Vita for hours now with like this how comfortable it is. Right. So. So seriously, recommendation. I know I'm speaking to a small crowd here. Recommendation for <laughs> Vita owners. If you have a Vita, freaking get the Nico Grip. Or Nico, I don't know. Because it, it improves it a ton. I can't yeah. believe I didn't have it this whole time. And then also, get Persona 4. Even if you don't think you're into RPGs, get it. Because I wasn't. And I think I'm slowly becoming interested in RPGs. Yeah, get Persona 4 <laughs> and the grip. Um, that's all I've been playing. I believe. I feel like I'm missing something, but that that's all I've been playing. Um, so, let's start off. Oh, uh, wait, nope, nope, nope. What have we been watching? Now here's our, you know, weekly. Oh, Dude, oh. We, lost, we talked about Arrow, The Flash, and The 100 for like 30 minutes last week. <laughs> it is awesome. We did. I, I'm not going to lie, I've kind of forgotten a lot of what happened this week. I remember a lot about right. the 100. I remember yeah, a lot about... Yeah, 100 was, like, very memorable because yeah. freaking stuff went on. <laughs> yeah, the 100 was... I remember tons about... Um, I remember Wait, that episode, awesome. like... Yeah, Flash was awesome, but I honestly it. don't remember tons of... Okay, now yeah. I do. I just had to, like, mm -hmm. think. Wells, and... all that stuff. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, Arrow amazing. was... The, the island what the thing okay so right. let's start with monday did you watch better call saul mate yes you said you were going to oh okay well I watched give the first us your episode. weekly book report <laughs> i watched the first episode i i'm behind obviously now oh, okay so you didn't watch I, it most I, so there's there's like three episodes out now and tomorrow will be the fourth episode oh okay um but i watched the first episode how did you like and... the first one <clears throat> uh it was a weird it's weird hmm. but um like it showed you know how the, there's like some shows that show like how smart a person is and they're like um you know how in death note is it it like a battle of wits almost yeah it's kind of like that it's like that uh, only with a lawyer yeah interesting and um also it taught it shows a lot of um uh, references to Breaking Bad and a lot of characters from Breaking Bad. So yeah, it at the very end there was like a a really big character from Breaking Bad and it was like whoa. <laughs> so. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people that watch Breaking Bad like really like it though. So yeah, I've I need to good. I probably need to watch the uh, second episode that was introduced with the pilot to like oh uh, you know yeah yeah was probably it... enjoy it to the max I don't know. yeah was it basically like uh parks and rec where they released two a night type thing was it like uh, that no, the that first was just night? For the premiere. yeah but was it like that for the premiere um no oh they released an episode after walking dead and they released an oh. another episode on monday oh okay that's cool that's cool and it, right. it comes out every monday nice now. So. i still don't have you know, much interest, but that's the speed. It's because I didn't watch Breaking Bad. You know, that uh, happens. But um, but I can say that if you do want to watch it, you can watch it because it. Yeah, it, it, it seems like it's, its own it's, thing. It's, it's, it's own thing, yeah. Yeah. There will be references though. Of, of course. course. It's been off. Jinx. DDC. So, um. <laughs> Flash. It happened. Um, it was, went fast. yeah, every, everybody went fast, multiple people, if you know what I'm saying. So spoilers <laughs> for the flash. Um, holy crap. The flash was really awesome. Now that I'm thinking about it, when we finished it, it was a lot of stuff happened just like in the 100, like tons oh, of yeah. stuff went on. 
Uh, oh like, my gosh. Like, the last, like, that. minute of Flash was Yeah, crazy. that was, that was We see Reverse Flash unexpected. going away, and then freaking, yeah. so, oh, it's Wells. <laughs> yeah, so basically the, um, the, the episode was a lot about Firestorm. Oh, yeah. So, oh, dude, that was so Those good. Dudes, so, they can, they can like, come out. yeah, they can converge and do their firestorm thing on command now and then just be like oh let's just separate and then they're gone then they like so do like a bro handshake and then they're like together <laughs> again it really is like a bro it's like where they grab the like that instead of the um yeah the hands just imagine like in a future episode there will be this like in action and there's like used to it now and so it is like, just like separate and come back to like gather like in a, in a, in a like really fast motion like yeah what if they, right, what they if, run into each other <laughs> dude what if they made like a you know i you know personally i would not be against having a firestorm show but what if they like in an episode of that they freaking did like they had to separate for like in battle like they were fighting somebody in the or they were being chased and basically they like split up to like you know cause a diversion and then they like met up yeah. and they were jumping in yeah, midair caught and then flew off how pro would that be mm -hmm. we just like made up our own scene for the firestorm show i could see that though oh dude that would be so but they good. split for like a split second <laughs> no but seriously this that episode was really awesome like the final scene where they actually they That's accepted freaking... it you know oh. and then they Oh, I don't know why, but the effect for, like, um, Professor Stein talking sounded just so good. It yeah. was like, oh, I don't, I don't behind even know you. how to explain it. Yeah, behind you. It was great. Um, oh, man. That's the big thing other than the end. There was the end. There was the Not firestorm. God. God. And the, yeah, okay. So, the end. Basically, Wells, like, well, no. You see Red Lightning running and he grabs Eiling, the guy that was trying to, you know, kill Stein and uh, and Ronnie the whole time. He grabs him and he takes him General. to the sewer. And then, you know, uh, you know, it shows red lightning means reverse flash. So then yeah. he stops and it's the it's the man in the yellow suit. And he takes off the, the freaking cowl or whatever. And it's just, it's just like obviously what? Wells. It's just, and it's like... They do it in a reveal, not so that it's like, whoa, it's Wells. We're just like, oh, look, it's Wells. Like, yeah. we sort of knew it the whole time type of thing. It, I don't know why. I wasn't super shocked by Wait, it. I was just like. Oh, we're, not, we're not supposed to be shocked about it, but it's just good I'm to shocked. see him in the suit. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked I'm like that they him. showed it. Like, I didn't expect them to show that until, like, the finale or something. I didn't expect them to. I don't you know. I didn't expect the them to give that. Fast. Uh, you could say that. <laughs> I will definitely say that every week. But <laughs> so he took off the cowl, and it's just it's just Wells. And then Eiling, he, Eiling's like, "You're one of the one of them. You're one of those metahumans." Meta and he's like, "Yes, I am." And then uh, you, you hear, I you hear Grodd talk. By the way. But it wasn't general. talking; it was telepathically <laughs> talking. So I think he said Eiling's name or something. No, he said general. Oh, he <laughs> said general, something like that. Yeah, he got his attention, and he was like, and Eiling's Eiling goes, the voice oh, in my God. head, and then he's dear like, God. God, yeah, dear God, and then you see Grodd come freaking barreling down the like with this oh, epic man. shot of like looking up at him and. Uh, He's like, not God, Grodd. And he grabs him, and he's like, ah, 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 like a little baby. And he <laughs> gets, drags him off. Yep. And Wells is just, like, smiling at him the whole time. <laughs> I, 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 oh. Ooh, baby. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for the finale, dude. dude. Freaking... Oh. Uh, <sighs> also, I we didn't talk about this on the podcast. Flash is delayed oh, yeah. again yeah what the... so, yeah, yeah. Uh, i love how we were both talking about how awesome the episode how we couldn't wait for the rest of the season and then like it just hit me and i'm like oh yeah they're delaying it for like a month i forgot about that so no flash until march 17th yeah, yeah. don't know why uh, <laughs> i tweeted about it when i was very upset i tweeted like 
if I was, if this was a show that I didn't absolutely love, like if it was any other show that was just sort of mediocre, I would stop watching on like principle because they stopped for mid season and now they're stopping again for just some weird random reason. And that's kind of, that. that's unacceptable. Like I heard someone say some stupid like, oh, people, the shows do it all the time so that people will talk about it and it will get more viewers when it comes back on or something like that. Yeah, I, like, well, that's, that doesn't make sense. But. No, that's stupid. They, they just need to, like, I was, I, well, I wasn't okay, but I was used to the mid-season stuff. But when the mid-season right. stopped and they came back, I was like, awesome. We're going to be able to watch every week and it's going to finish the story and we're going to see and we won't have to wait anymore. And then this comes up and I was like, See, and I, now I'm, I'm sure that Arrow is going to be done before Flash. Yeah, is. Arrow will be done. Arrow will be done a month before Flash because they're not taking a break. Like, the Flash. Which I oh, guess God. doesn't matter anymore because they're not having, like, a crossover again for the rest of the season. So, I don't yeah. know. But, I... it I it's, it. it's dumb. So, moving on to Arrow. Yeah, Arrow. Or we could talk about Parks and Rec. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Parks and Rec was oh, great. Those were good episodes. Yeah, dude. The Johnny Karate episode was better than <laughs> I thought it would be. Yeah, like, it was literally just an episode of Johnny Karate. Yeah, with, like, all the cast and whatnot. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Like, uh, <laughs> Professor Smart <laughs> Ron was there. I love... I love my... Silver. <laughs> my favorite... Probably my favorite moment that actually made me laugh out loud during that episode was when they go, uh... When Ron was like, I really appreciate what you've done for the kids in this community. <laughs> and then uh, Andy's like, oh, thanks, man. You know what You know what this calls for, kids? I think it's time for uh, a hug moment. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, you are mistaken. Nope. Get nope. the graphic out of here. And he literally pushes the graphic off the screen. It's this great. is amazing. He's like, <laughs> no, it was great. That was Love that was the only dude. part that like actually made me laugh out loud. The rest was just great. And then the second episode, do was... uh, just because of that scene, just because of that scene, what you said like how Parks and Rec is pretty much a live action cartoon. Yeah, it really makes is. more sense. But it's so good. It's so good. It really is. But <laughs> it's it's such a great show. But it really is a live action cartoon. Like I can think of an example from every episode um so let's talk about the next episode and then i'll show you an example what was next episode the next episode um, was like of parks and rec there was two yeah i know okay um they I, had I what it was yeah i'm trying to think of it they had um man i know oh, yeah, one time oh, all, I'm tom gonna get it. proposed yeah and, to, um... yeah, oh, yeah, the mayor died. The mayor died. Oh, yeah, and freaking... <laughs> that was great. The, his, um, his video Gary. was great. Oh, yeah, Gary's Gary became mayor. the mayor now. <laughs> I forgot about that. Just Okay, it's a freaking cartoon, because at the end, the inauguration is him flying <laughs> off in a hot air balloon. <laughs> like, what? And he's like, I really want to say the... Balloon turns on <laughs> and they fly off. Yeah, Th that was awesome. That was really good. I love when the the douche came in to try and. <laughs> oh, uh, it was also yeah. <laughs> also, uh, there was two funerals. There was two. What was the other one? Uh, Ron's oh, yeah. barber. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. And Ron's then, barber. Um, so yeah, and then the mayor. Of yeah, course. dude, th probably the, the mayor was freaking um. I don't name know. Bill Murray, dude. Oh, Bill Murray. Oh yeah, he was. I was so happy. I was like, Bill <laughs> Murray's in Parks and Rec. Dude, my favorite part of that episode was probably the mayor's video of when he died. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been paying much reading. attention. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't notice anything. So, <laughs> if there is, if there is credit to be taken, I will humbly take it. If there is blame to be given, I will. It was your fault. No, it was your fault. <laughs> it was your fault. <laughs> so bye, forever, bye. and then it ends. <laughs> that was so good. So Parks and Rec yeah. is such a great show. The, the end. Yeah. Parks and Rec is a great show. Let's yeah. move on to Arrow. Because <laughs> man, Arrow, Slade, 
Uh, people get shot and stabbed and. Who got shot, mate? Uh, Oliver got shot with a piece of wood. Okay, there we track. go. It works. There you go. Congratulations, you pulled it. You pulled it out. Um, hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> like the like the piece of wood. He pulled it out. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> they go back to the island. I love how we just recap the episode. I don't even care. It makes me like relive the episode. It's great. So yeah. basically, Thea and Ollie. yeah, Thea and Oliver go the to island. the island and Oliver goes down to check on Slade and Slade is out and he calls Malcolm and Malcolm's like, you need to regain wait, 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 hold your on, killer instinct. You need to regain that killer. In- it's, you know, it's not uh, yeah. over a headset. You need to regain that killer instinct. And it's probably not with a Justice League phone case either. But This is true. You know. That would be kind of meta. Though. Yeah, it would be super meta. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, just the, <laughs> a phone case of Oliver Queen's silhouette. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It oh. says you have failed this city on his phone. But, um, yeah, so Malcolm's like, you need to regain that killer instinct. And then he he's like, your phone will stop working after this call. And what I honestly thought was funny, <laughs> yeah, he hung up and he just like broke his phone and threw it on the ground. Like, now you're going to go home and buy another one. Yeah, right? I was like, what? You don't own a million dollar company anymore. <laughs> Actually, what is seriously Oliver's finances right now? I really don't know. Maybe the the club. That's all I can think of. It's not that his club, though. Sense. It's Thea's club. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Dude, that's honestly one of the reasons. Oh, no, no, no. It could be. No. Uh, <laughs> it could be a Felicity. I don't know. Because no. she's working for freaking Ray. And... Yeah, but she's not giving him her money. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, no. that's honestly one of the reasons why I kind of like the. <clears throat> the Green Arrow comics can be better in some aspects, and that's one of the aspects. Like, they actually show how Oliver is getting his cool new bow, or cool new arrows, and all yeah. his tech and all that, and where he's living, and <laughs> how he has a job. But right. this, I remember in the first, like, uh, in season two, after he moved out of the mansion, we had no idea where he was living. <laughs> right. <laughs> I I am assuming he lives with Thea. He does now, but he didn't. Remember? He didn't. Yeah. He moved in with Thea at the beginning of like season three. And and we're like, oh well that answers that question. Like Maybe yes. he lives in the hero cave. I really want to know where he gets his he money. He has a little cot in the hero cave. Dude. Where does he get his money though? <laughs> Anyways, that's completely off the point. The episode was awesome. We got to see Slade again. Um, he got locked back up in the end, of course. Yeah, it wasn't very eventful, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. do you want something super eventful after season two? Season right, two was all about and then, Slade. I don't know, I don't know if I'd be up for another, like, Slade invasion type thing. Yeah, I don't want that. that. I don't know. Until maybe later, like, I'd be fine with it next season, but, like, we just had a whole season about Slade, give it a break. We'll Seriously. we'll come back to him later. Like, I, I honestly think that Slade is, like, Oliver's Joker, where he'll always be there. He'll always be in the background. He'll always be coming back. Mm-hmm. But it may not be as big of a thing as it was before. Um, yeah, so it was really good. It ended with them coming back home. Oh, oh, snap. Thea learned about her, about Malcolm, y- y- you know, using the drugs to make Thea kill Sarah. Yeah. Still dumb. Um, so Thea knows about that, and when she came back, she was like, I'll I'll train with you. I'll even be your soldier if I have to. But I'll never be your daughter again. And he's like, I, she did it. Face. She acted good. Like in yeah, Thea back actually did. made sense. Other than when she's she actually made like sense. making sense with her words. Like before, <laughs> she was just like the the flim, the, the clumsy daughter. Yeah, she sister thing, you know? she got like angry over everything in season two, and just yeah. everything angered her. And then she was an addict, and yeah, that, one. <laughs> yeah. So Thea was never really that great up until. But this now season, she's like she's fine. actually making rational decisions and thinking. Yeah, dude. Was it just me when she said, "I'll never be your daughter again"? Malcolm made like the most ridiculous puppy face. Like he he literally his lips like quivered. Know, he was Barrowman like, "Has like the weirdest facial expressions." He was like, <laughs> and then he looked over at Oliver, and Oliver's like, 
I'm sorry. Man. You shouldn't have told her that. <laughs> it literally, yeah, I love how his response to um, Thea saying that was like, her res his response to Thea calling him out that. was, he shouldn't have told you. <laughs> he shouldn't have told you what I did. But yeah, Arrow was great. It's moving along. I'm really excited to see the rest. We don't have to wait for it like we do with the Flash. Yeah. Um, the 100. The 100 was on it. The 100, I told Eric, the 100 made me consider moving it up my list of uh, yeah. top TV shows. Like, it Same. might be in number one now. I'm not sure. You know what? Yeah. It's in a trial period. If next episode um, makes it, if next episode is, like, as good as last episode, it'll have to move up. It'll, yeah. it'll have to move up. Um, <laughs> it was seriously amazing. I, Dude, I... I I flipped when freaking uh, the peop the forty two in or the forty seven. Yeah. But did they pull that trick on? Yeah, and on I did too because I oh, honestly what? thought that the gas was like you know knocked them all out and I was like oh no, yeah, they're gonna like, take oh, them man. away and then they're like <laughs> they all just and the guy was like wait, wait dude that was what was so good because even he yeah he looked at the gas thing that fell in the um, bucket of water so it didn't you know go out and do yeah. a bunch of stuff and knock them all out he pulled it out and he looked at it and he was the whole scene even after they got up and started fighting he was still there looking at it so he got it out and it was awesome because you got to see he was like a representation of the mountain men whereas yeah. like he didn't think that they could do anything so he was like looking at it and then when he realized that they were like fighting and killing his like you know his soldiers he was like yeah what <laughs> and then like this girl and then he finally had to drop it and start fighting because this girl swung at him it was great yeah. oh man that was such a good scene. yeah i rewatched that like two yeah. or three times oh it's so good and and jasper oh i love how later they called it out too like the president was talking to him and he's like this is addressing the people who just killed 10 of my men i was like yeah mm -hmm. he killed 10 of them get wrecked but. <laughs> and then the end they're all um they're all running they're i also really like the idea of like the rebellion like yeah, there are rebellions. people who don't agree with using outsider blood so they're helping yeah. them they're helping them get move along you know what i mean and yeah. let's see what else big happened Clark and Abby aren't super upset with each other anymore. Or Abby is. Yeah, they made up a little bit. Yeah, Abby sort of came to the understanding, which because actually it... made sense. Yeah, Kane told her that, you know, they that she learned to make hard decisions from them. Right. I thought that made That's a true. lot of sense. Um, what else? And I don't think Clark wanted to do it either. She <clears> never, no. But she she refused someone... for a while. If they if they would have started evacuating, that uh, Bellamy would have been screwed. And Bellamy, oh. Bellamy still hasn't been caught yet. Yeah, Bellamy's still being freaking legit inside the. Yeah. <laughs> like when he, he freaking still shot the two got... guys. Yeah, that, I, was, that was cool too. There were so many really awesome moments. Also, Clark shot the sniper eventually. That was yeah. really great. Um. So honestly, the 100 was like one of my favorite episodes of TV in like, at least a couple of months. It was yeah. it was really good, really, really, really good. There was a lot of satisfying moments. <clears throat> Dude, so... Though, well, you were talking about last week when they did they looked down at the chicken elevator. That was legit. Oh yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That's but it was it was week. like yeah, it was like that moment, but like four or five of those. Yeah, it was great. Um, <laughs> let's. So that is it for TV. Wait, no, 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 Walking Dead. I forgot about The Walking Dead. We normally start with The Walking Dead. Um, yes. What even happened? Uh, oh, it was a good episode, actually. I forgot. they. It dealt with, like, the fallout. They were looking for food. They were oh, walking yes. around. The they barn. were finding shelter. They went to a barn because it was storming. It was a really good episode. Yeah, like, it was really good, but it was... Element. Yeah. They definitely had to um, deal with the fallout, and they did it in a not boring way, and they did it in one episode. And now... They're literally back to awesome action next episode. Like, they yeah. they saw the, um... The gay dude. Yeah, they saw this dude come come up, and then it was, like, promo, and they're, like, going in and fighting people again. Yeah. Immediately, next 
week, Apparently which is actually gay. tonight. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's tonight. It's tonight. Holy crap. <laughs> That's really awesome. Yeah, dude, that, that was a freaking awesome barn scene. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the barn scene was legit. Yeah, it was it was really good. I liked the whole storm aspect. Because, I don't know, I mean, other than when they were in the jail or maybe on the farm, we haven't, I don't know, we haven't really seen it rain much. And right. it rains a lot in real life, so I liked that they had to deal with rain. Um, that's it for shows. Watch 100 if you're not watching it. It's seriously yes, better than please. The Walking Dead. Um, because it should, it doesn't have as much following as it should. Yeah, and yeah. I, I honestly think it's better than The Walking Dead. It's more gruesome, too. Yeah. Uh, so, actual news. Let's get to it, dude. We are halfway through, and we haven't gotten to the news yet. So, Critics' you know Choice Sale. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah. Um, the Critics' Choice Sale. Their PlayStation has been doing a lot of sales lately, but normally they're flash sales, which is, includes a lot of indies and all. But this Critics' Choice Sale, which I think, gosh dang it, I think it's actually going to be done before I before this yeah. airs again. Like last week, it started before. Um, Maybe er, we should make our podcast on Saturdays. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it. I guess it's ending, but it was really good. It had. Dragon Age Inquisition for really cheap, Far Cry for really cheap, Destiny for really cheap. Oh, yeah. Had a bunch of really good AAAs like, for everything. I I saw some of the games on there. Like I was like, really, off. like really. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shadow of Mordor. Um, and then there were a bunch of indies as well. I bought Tomb Raider: The Definitive Edition for fourteen dollars. Um, Ali Ali for two dollars and sixty cents, and Shout of Light for six bucks. So, I, I got a lot of games to play. Much excite. Yeah. Also, let, let's just transition to Nate and the new games and whatnot. Uh, games. Yeah, new yeah, games. Yeah, because I don't think you got anything from the Critics' Choice sale, right? Uh, you looked at it and you no. were like, yeah, but then you... I like, looked at it. I, I kind of want to get Far Cry 4. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really am going to go back to... I think I'm going to save Far Cry 4 for when I when there's like a lull in gaming, which never happens but when i don't have something to play i'm gonna go back to far cry 4 and just freaking go ham in it um because i'm i never beat it but i i did a lot in it but i didn't i, didn't I heard it. it's a great game too so. yeah but it's like 40 hours long to do everything and i'm like 20 hours in and i'm nowhere even close so i played yeah. around a lot um yeah so nate got on console yesterday and he played the last of us which made yeah. me really happy. He quite a bit through. Yeah, he, he played a bunch of The Last of Us. And then uh, he got Evolve, which yeah. made may have made yeah. us get Evolve. Hey, well, you got it, and I was like, well... <laughs> yeah, I had been really tempted to, but that was like... But I decided against it because I already had so many games, but now I have it, so I'm honestly really... And now, I mean, J Money is gonna get it, and he already has it. J Money and Fleabag okay, and yeah. Danny all have it. Um, okay, cool. We have people. <laughs> yeah, I I said that we have more than the limit. We have more than five people, but um, so we're good on like people to play with. Yeah. So. Um. Awesome. So yeah, I'm really excited to play that, dude. It's it's gonna be. I'm gonna try. It's probably gonna be like my new Call of Duty. With progression mm. and unlocking things and all that, right. it seems like it'll be really fun to just jump in and play multiplayer. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Um, let's see. Let's play. <laughs> let's play. <laughs> the um, I think that's it. I didn't buy anything else. But yeah, we have Evolve. We're gonna be playing that. Uh, oh, let's talk about this real quick. I bought when I ordered the Vita Grip. I also ordered, um, I also ordered things that make me able. One of the things hasn't come in yet, but because of all the stuff I ordered, I can now record and stream PS3 and PS4 without switching cables. But not Vita yet. Not Vita. I will be able to do Vita on Monday. So I can play my Vita games, I can play my PS3 games, I can play my PS4 games on stream. So look out 
on stream. Watch, like, be... Watch out, Twitch. Watch out, Twitch. <laughs> I'm coming for you. So go to twitch.tv slash games and seriously be be ready to see some cool stuff because I'm going to be yeah. playing not just, like, all my normal Destiny stuff. I, I think today I'm just going to, like, after I play some Iron Banner, I'm just going to chill and play through a mission on Uncharted 3 on crushing difficulty. What is that? Oh, he's wearing a Walking Dead shirt. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Finally. Two things, <laughs> Two things that we are literally talking about right now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm going to be – I'm still – so, dude, I reviewed the trophies for Uncharted 3. Seriously, mm. the hardest one is crushing difficulty. All the others I could go – I could do really yeah. easily. So, like, so once oh, yeah, I beat it on crushing – well, I have been making progress. I'm not uh, stuck on anything, but I will get stuck on a certain point part. There is, <sighs> there is one part that I couldn't do on normal difficulty. So like, oh gosh, imagine. Dude, I, oh. I always had trouble. I had trouble with the part where you have to like fist fight that big burly dude and there's fire everywhere inside the burning building. Ooh, I remember that. Yeah, I, I'm already yeah. past that. I'm already past yeah, that, dude. Uh, There's but, one part. Did you ever get to the boatyards? I think that's what it's called. I don't, I don't remember. Dude. Oh, gosh. Oh, dude. It was so I think bad. You're, talking about, like, you're like jumping on a bunch of like destroyed boats or something like kind that? Kind of, yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's just a bunch of dudes spread out like on... It's like... All, yeah. yeah, on all these boats, and you have to swim yeah, and yeah, climb I mean, and then jump from... Yeah. That was super rough. It was so rough that I literally went on YouTube and followed a step-by-step -step stealth guide. <laughs> stealth guide. So, like, if I did it exactly like this guy did it, stealthily, like, here, 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 exactly from, like, timing exactly. I did it. I did that for, like, two or three hours until I had it perfect and it was done. I'm going to have okay. to do that again on crushing because there's no freaking way I can take that on. Because, like, if you do it on stealth, it's not really that big of a deal. But if you do it full on action, freaking there's two different turrets, multiple people come out with rocket launchers. What? It's insane. It's insane. So <laughs> I'm going to once I beat it on crushing, I can get that platinum. It just it just takes a while. The game's long, so like I just yeah. every now and then when I feel like it, I just play through a couple of levels and it's progress. So yeah. You want to talk about something, mate? Cuz we covered uh... a lot there. You just deleted your... Yeah, yeah, don't... Nothing happened <laughs> Um... <laughs> let's see. How about Bloodborne? Yeah. Bloodborne, I've watched a few trailers and gameplay videos. They released a story trailer. Interest. It's starting to uh, pique my interest. So I might yeah, I'm probably going to get Bloodborne. <laughs> it looks really good. Like, the, Dude, the like... creepiness and the atmosphere looks really awesome. And yeah. I'm I'm down for a really – I don't like scary games, but I've said this many times, but I really like atmospheric creepy games. So, right. like, that – I mean, but most of the time the atmospheric creepy crosses the line a little bit into scary, yeah. but I can deal with that. See, dude, like, if, if Bloodborne was first person, you'd probably poop your pants. Oh, yeah, no, that sounds horrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get Bloodborne. It looks – like it looks challenging, yeah. but not, uh, yeah, challenging, but not like it's gonna like, you're gonna regret, like your life and like, <laughs> yeah, anything. it like, seems Dark Souls, gosh dang. Yeah, it seems a little bit less than Dark Souls, but all, but like, basically the same thing. Yeah, you still gotta know how to play and what. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not. It's not like powering through. It's still gonna be uh, Batman game, sure. and getting a bunch of upgrades where yeah. you just pwn everything and all that, <laughs> which I love games like that. But I've slowly started to love Demerit challenging and, games. Uh, challenging games. Slowly, I'm not fully down with them yet, but I, 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 I think like them. Bloodborne will change your mind about it because it still has the good enough enough action to keep you interested, but yeah. still challenging. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Bloodborne looks really good, but so did the Order segue. Yes. <laughs> we haven't, uh, neither of us have played the Order. We haven't gotten it yet, but we've seen a lot of stuff about we, it. We, um, uh, 
we were gonna get it on day one if the reviews were like really good, but since they weren't, the reviews were uh, really we're mixed. Still looking at yeah, it. the reviews were really we're mixed, so I was just sort of like, I guess I'm not getting it, and that was it. Know, <laughs> That's all I'm deciding. Know, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about it because there's people on. I mean, the kind of funny. Uh, fan page on Facebook. There's a lot of people on there that are like saying a lot of good things about it. I mean, it. a lot of people like it, and I mean, I right. I'm sure I would like it. I just don't right. want to. Right. I already have so many games. <laughs> this is my thing about Evolve. Why I didn't well, get it immediately. If, if I was one of those people that um, made fun of the order, I would probably say, "Well, you would have all the time in the world because it's only five hours." Oh man, but I would. Uh... I don't know. I'm down with it. I just, I also don't, I'm also not made of money though. So like, sure. I don't, I don't have a job yet. The people where I applied should be calling uh, tomorrow. So hopefully that yeah. turns out well. If, if, you know what, to be honest, if I get a job after my first paycheck, I'll probably get the order. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds good. Yeah. But, I might rent it. I don't know. yeah. See, look, if you can rent it and then, like, beat it in one playthrough. Yeah. I, I think the I think the only justifiable, like, reason to actually buy it would be maybe the collector's edition. <laughs> so, how do you, so you have the awesome uh, statue mm. box. I don't um, know. I think I might just, um, I think I might just wait for it to go on sale. To I be know, honest. It's a tough decision. That's kind of what I want to do. I just want to wait for it to go on sale. Because the first time it. it goes on sale, I'll get it. That's because I, at the same time I want to support it yeah. and like I hope they can maybe improve. With yeah, the a lot of game. people said that like the sequel would be really good because like they would just you know take the time and improve the gameplay and all that, and it would be yeah be awesome. Um, or the music is amazing too. Yeah, the music's really good. That's um, right. The it apparently is the best looking game on PS4, which I don't doubt. Yeah, yeah, I don't doubt it. It looks awesome. It looks really, really, really beautiful. So let's see. Oh, dude, let's do our predictions for E3. We should have done okay. this at the beginning of the year, but let's throw out some predictions right now, and uh, just so that because we have time, and. I will write them down and we'll keep tabs on them so that, uh, you um, know, when we actually, yeah, when E3 comes around, we'll, uh, we'll do a thing on those. You go on E3, we should have like a special episode. Yeah, we should. Totally. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, give me a second. I'm writing it down. Come, do you have some? Because I have an idea of some. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so... Mostly Bethesda. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will I write you down first. For, for I mean, of course, with... I think we're going to get see some gameplay of... Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront from uh, EA. Yeah, and that's Dice. possible. Okay, okay, hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to put in the bullets. Okay. Let's start with you, I guess. Why not? So... Is that official? Do you think we'll get a I, I think we will. Gameplay? Uh, it, it's, it's coming out in 2015, right? Isn't it? I don't think they ever said. Uh, no, yeah, it, it is. Because um, they, they announced it last year saying, uh, Bellfront 2015 winter. Yeah, you're fall, right. Like 2015. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah so that's yeah, a, definitely. That's a pretty safe of course, bet. That's. Battlefront uh, from EA. That's a pretty safe... Actually, I literally typed in Star Wars Battlefront release date, and there's a link that says uh, Star Wars Battlefront 3 gameplay trailer. So, let me take a look at this. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's... No, I wouldn't think it would be. The... I would have known that. It would have been like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But... It's probably the same thing we've seen. Yeah... I just gotta be sure. It Wait, was. Is it say Battlefront Three? It's just called Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. It was uploaded by Jack Frags on. Uh, okay. Last or two Jack weeks Frags. ago, Friday, 
February thirteenth. Um, here, I'll give it. I'll give you the link. And we'll take a look at this. Uh, There's a goat in the freaking ad. Land the space combat. Well, do, we'll pause it at zero, and we'll watch it together. Okay. So um, the audio. No, code. I know it. I know what this is. Is it not the actual? Is it the old one? Uh, it's pretty much what he's talking about. He's like reviewing some of some of the. There was some other footage in here, but there is early in-game footage in there. If you scroll through, like midway through, like two two minutes in, you can see like in-game footage, and it looks incredible. Oh yeah, that that was shown at E3. Yeah, it was shown at E3. Yeah, this is nothing. This is nothing. Oh well. But okay, so you're predicting are you predicting Battlefront gameplay or just another trailer? Uh definitely gameplay. Okay. All right, that's a safe bet to be totally honest. Because right. if it's coming out in winter, there's going to show like they have to showcase some sort of gameplay. Okay. Let's put out uh three predictions each. My first right. one is going to be I'm going to I'm going to oh, should I be risky or should I play it safe? I'm going to say that Bethesda will announce a brand new IP at their conference. I agree. That's that's not too risky. No, to it's totally not honest. at all. Actually, they... you know what? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to freaking kick it up a notch. It's going to be this is my first projection. Bethesda will announce a new IP at their conference and Fallout 4. Yeah. And Fallout 4. We'll announce a new I game. am like almost 100% certain that that's what's going to happen. But I don't know, dude. I, I, I'm fully not. I, I think the if Fallout 4 do, is quite risky. Oh my gosh. I think they're going to talk about this Dishonored 2. They'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah, They'll that's talk possible. About it, I think. So, okay. Come up with another one, mate. Um, We're gonna need three. I have three pretty easily. I'm just pulling these off at the top of my head. Um, let's think here. I have, yeah, I have tons thought up. I, I, well, you took one of the main ones I was thinking <laughs> of. Uh, I'm sure, uh, but I'm, I'm sure Bethesda's gonna have some other stuff for like uh, Wolf Unsigned and Evil Within, maybe. Um, mm. They'll probably talk about it. They'll talk about their franchises in general. I know that. Yeah. Um, they'll probably talk about ESO, probably some DLC. Um, I need a confirmed prediction, mate. You can make one about uh, Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> that would be a decent one. No, uh, no. I, I honestly, I am only certain with Battlefront, and then. Fallout and maybe a new IP. Well, Doesn't make a matter. make a risky one. Make one make that risky. you think. Make one <laughs> if that I you wanted think to be risky, might. I would say they're making a new Sly Cooper. <laughs> oh my gosh! Make one that you think might happen, or make one that you think that you want to happen. You can just throw one out there. Um, because I have many. Think about games that are coming out that have been announced that they haven't talked about much. All that stuff. I'm trying to think of producers that may might make a new ip or something oh uh we'll probably see um a lot of stuff for uh no man's sky mm, yeah i bet we will see a little bit more of that that's that's good that's good uh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. okay uh, um uh, probably no man's sky oh okay you're, you're good. <laughs> nope 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 you go <laughs> <laughs> so We'll see more about No Man's Sky. Uh, Probably do you think release we'll... date. <laughs> Are... that's, a, that's a good prediction right there. That's a firm, yeah. risky uh, I honestly crap don't... right there. No Man's don't... Sky release, release date. date. All right. That's, that's pretty risky, but I like it. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think we're going to get... Mm. I have been stewing on these, and I have a good one, but I'm trying to like not like lock it in. Um, I think we're gonna get a release date per for Persona Five, but in Japan, oh, yeah. not in the West. I don't think we're gonna get a Western release date yet. We might like 
you know, a couple of days after or something or like a month after or a couple of weeks yeah. after. But I feel like I don't know why this is just my made up timetable. I feel like they're going to know for Japan, but just almost know for the West, but they're not yeah. going to fully know. I agree. Persona 5, Japanese release. Uh, <clears throat> I have another one in my head. What else? What, what else happens in Japan? Um, Tons of stuff. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Happens. Of course, you'll have, you'll have Microsoft with their fancy new. Oh, yeah. You can predict stuff from the Sony conference, from the Microsoft conference, from the Nintendo conference. Okay, here we go. I think we're going to see like a bunch of. Uh, oh, wait. Well, never mind. Never mind. That's a bad. <laughs> I, I was thinking that we're going to see like more features for um, Mac, uh, Windows 10 or something. Oh, we oh, definitely no. will. I feel like there will be I tons will, but of... I don't think that's... No, that's that's not a prediction. But I feel like there will be a lot of, um, like, showings at E3. Like, they'll probably yeah. show it a lot. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, I think we're going to see... I hope, at least. I'm not sure if uh, Frictional Games is big enough. But um, they're making a game... The guys who made uh, Amnesia, they're making a game called Soma. Uh, which is like a futuristic survival horror, which I'm excited for. It's coming out this year. Uh, it would be cool to see it there, but I'm I not don't sure think they're that's big be enough E3. to. Hey, it's possible. Um, though. Chinese Room got into E3, and they made like some indie game. Then again, you don't see all your news in the big conference. You see a lot of it yeah. just coming out of like IGN and news articles right. where they just like give it to certain uh, reporters and all. So. This is true. All right. You want that to be your last uh, prediction? No, this, this is E3 prediction. So, uh, uh, you should... I mean, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? No. Possible. I should... Uh, <laughs> let's, let's think of something risky here. Uh, I don't know. I have, I have another. I think it's safe to assume we'll see something about um, Assassin's Creed there. At yeah. E3. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's not really a prediction. That's uh, the yearly thing now. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna release. Ooh, we should make a one of us should make a Destiny prediction. Ooh, okay, yeah. Um, we're gonna see something giant, a giant update. Not maybe not the comment, but a giant update. They might comment not even be like a real thing. Do you think we're gonna see thing. stuff about the comment thing? Because I bet Comet's a real thing. That's, that's it, it might sure not. It's not called Comet. Cold. No, but that's that's a real thing. Like how they're gonna do oh, Dark yeah. Below, oh. House of Wolves, and then a big thing. Big. Do you think we're gonna see anything about the big thing? Oh that's yeah, that's kind of risky. That, oh, all right, I think that's a little bit risky, on. but I like it. We might see. I'm hoping for a cinematic trailer. That's how mm. like risky I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna no I, I'm that just, yeah, in that's, your prediction? That's what I'm, that's oh, okay. I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Because I don't know. Uh, Bungie likes their cinematic uh, bang. All right. Destiny, it seems. Well, um, yeah, they do, but actually, not, not, in terms not of actually in game. But you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when it, I mean, the and you know, trailer we can't for skip Dark Below was. Yeah. The trailer for Dark Below was all... It was a really good trailer, to be totally honest. I liked it. It got me hyped up. So, my last one. My last prediction. Let's see here. I was thinking... Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna say... Uncharted 6. Six? We're just skipping five now. Drake comes back to life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why we skipped one, five? Oh yeah, yeah, I totally remember. <laughs> um, mm, I'm trying to think. I'm I'm thinking of one for a Sony specific studio. I'm trying to think of either one for. I was thinking maybe Sucker Punch announces a new IP, but that's not a thing. Mm -hmm. I got one. I got one immediately. Gorilla is going to show off gameplay. No. Nope. Not gameplay because they haven't shown off anything of this game. They're gonna sh Guerrilla Games, the people who make Killzone, have been rumored yeah. to be making a new game for like years, but they haven't shown so anything on it. And it's rumored to be an open world RPG. So teaser. So I've 
yeah, I don't care. It could be a trailer. It could be gameplay. I'm just going to say Guerrilla Games announces their new IP. Okay. And I might be even riskier and say that it is also an open world RPG, but I'm not going to do that. I'm okay. not doing that. I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, these are good predictions. When E3 rolls around, we are going to do this. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have an E3-centric show. It's going to be great. I'm down with this. It's yeah. good. It's looking real good. It's looking real nice. So do what we should do. We should do the thing like we did uh, where we have our like faces up. Oh yeah, and we can we, we can like... overlay the actual conference yeah. is and footage. Oh, and if oh. you and and you can go back and like edit it to where like the sound comes up when you want or something. I don't know. No, I, don't know. No. I would take time. It's way too much time no one that has I time. don't have. <laughs> so um. Let's see. Uh, let's cover some real quick stuff. We're actually running out of time. So yeah. let's cover some real quick stuff. Aquaman, Zack Snyder, picture. He literally posted a pic. Zack Snyder is the guy... Um, actually, isn't he the guy directing the new... He's involved in making the new DC movies. Yeah. I think he's directing it. Batman v Superman. I don't know, but I know he's involved in making them. So... Boom! Picture of Aquaman. Unite the Seven. Looks yeah, like a freaking, beast. Yeah, uh, Jason Momoa or yeah. whatever his name is. Yeah, it's He's something like that. He's awesome from uh, um, Game of Thrones. There is only one true you king. Some really weird sex scenes. I'll just say that. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> so Game of Thrones, man. <laughs> wiener, 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 wiener. <laughs> yep. Yep. The wiener uh, chorus great so uh let's see destiny has talked about um they've talked about in their weekly update strikes they're adding matchmaking to weekly heroics which is pretty awesome a lot of people like to solo them but i'm okay with that yeah i don't care i wish they could i wish there was an option to turn off the matchmaking but there isn't because you know bungie sucks sometimes i'm sorry (laughs) <laughs> but seriously just add more options to the game just give me audio options i want to be able to turn my music off okay um we were gonna rank the first uh our top three favorite avatar episodes because avatar the last airbender is now 10 <laughs> years fast. old i mean we pretty much have the same i don't have <laughs> top three i have I well know. yeah but, but you we can both agree that like um tales of bossing say uh Sozin's comment. Sozin's comments, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. Same. Tales of Bossing says too. I don't know and what three would be. I don't know what three either, but we've Yeah. Three yeah. is the rest of the series. There you go. <laughs> yeah, three is the rest of the series. There we go. Moving on. Maybe okay, maybe when Toph teaches uh, Aang how Yeah, to that was, yeah, that, that was, was that's an that's awesome episode. Go. That's called there like a go. rock between a hard place or something, or hard place. Uh it's something like that. No, 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 it's not. The it's... actual name is like the name of the episode, I bet. No, I saw it on IGN. It was named something else. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll find this. Okay. Well, I'll cover that, some. Just we posted it on IGN. <laughs> well, you're while you're looking for that, let me read out some stats from Evolve. It's called Bitter Work. Oh yeah, you're right. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, Bitter Work, number three. There you go. Top yep. three best Avatar Tells episodes. Vomit. Also. Tells the boss saying. Somebody and... please make me a good Avatar game. Please. Yeah, please. An MMO. An MMO. Freaking, or freaking just the things. normal RPG. Give me one of those. Yeah. Okay. Evolve. Game statistics. Let's see. It's one of those uh, graphics, just like with Destiny, just like Advanced Warfare that we've shown you before. You know the dealio. How many traps were put down. Yeah, all that stuff. So let's see. There have been 5,989,905 games played. Round length average is 9 minutes and 40 or nine minutes and 46 seconds. Um, the average first contact is after two and a half minutes. The shortest is 60 seconds. The longest is 43 minutes. There has been a 43 minute oh my gosh. What? Um, Watching your favorite one hour program on demand. <laughs> that's what it says. Total uh, time played. There have been 108 years already played in this game. Okay. That's insane. Uh, hunt game mode win ratio. Uh, uh, I, I like this stat right here. There is eleven percent 
wins at stage one where yeah. they're the weakest. That's insane. Because when you're on stage one, you're like insanely weak and you can do like nothing. That's why there's only an 11% win. Yeah, rate. exactly. Which yeah. is really impressive. I really like that um, the hunter actually beats the um, the monster. The hunter group actually beats the monster in stage two more than half the time. Which yeah, is yeah. really cool. Stage three, of course, you know, it's over. But More, more or less, yeah. 133 million minutes watched on Twitch. Um, That's let's see. insane, dude. Most popular hunters. I don't know these guys. I will oh, no, next no. time we come up because we'll actually have played the game. Oh, no, these are like support. Yeah, these are characters. Oh, these are different types of support. And so. Most popular monster, uh, Mr. Sheer. That looks like the Goliath. That's a Goliath. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Um, but they're all really close. 37, 33, and 30. Yeah. Yeah, dang. He's beauty and he's grace. And then <laughs> monsters are winning. Monsters have won 51.9%. All of this is really close. And hunters have won 48.1%. Wow. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, That's probably my yeah. favorite. I probably like that better than the uh, Destiny one. I like that as a statistic thing. That's really cool. All right. Well, you know, play Evolve. Looks awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Right, we're going to play that tonight, dude. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, Iron Banner. Yeah. I'm going to probably go play some Iron Banner now. Not much, but a little bit. Maybe. Uh, I might just uh, continue no. playing Persona 4. Um... <laughs> Quickly, Necrochasm sucks, and it needs Still a buff. Sucks. Weekly reminder, Bungie, it sucks. So there is a Reddit <laughs> article. In the Iron Banner, the starting gun does more damage than the Necrochasm. This is sad. Starting gun. Then the hardest gun to earn in the game. That is yeah. unacceptable. That's, un that's, un that's unacceptable. We love you, Bungie, but that's unacceptable. What are you thinking? Get your crap together immediately. And if it ta and if yeah. you have to hire some people to get your crap done together immediately, do it because you have money. All right. Moving on. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, SGA, use the first gun you get in uh, <laughs> Iron Banner. In Iron Banner. <laughs> so, Eric, cover some of your topics quickly. All Let's right. go. Um, I've oh, seen some stuff from Final Fantasy 15. I saw the trailer back way back when. It was yeah. I probably will get it in the yeah. future. Yeah, me and it's... Eric were talking about this the other day. We don't normally... I've never played a Final Fantasy game, never. but, like, I've discovered, like, you can apparently jump into any of them and, and okay. be fine. So we're going to use 15 as our starting point, and we're going to yeah. freaking go ham. Because, honestly, it looks really good. And I have been like getting more into rpgs lately so yeah I'm um new alien uh stuff is coming out i'm a giant fan of the alien series teddy i'm going to mail you the anthropology you're going to watch it one day um but anyway <laughs> um alien is one of my favorite series of all time and they're announcing something new for the uh the franchise which is awesome how do you know oh, that? Did five, they just like? Did they just come out and say we're gonna be announcing something um, new for the alien? Yeah, they didn't really specify it, but it's gonna be something in the alien universe. Oh, okay. Fine by me. I ho I just hope it's not Prometheus because it's I'm, probably uh, another game. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't it's complain. Possible. The game was cool. It was about Ripley's uh, daughter. But, uh, yeah. Totally. Um, Ripley's daughter. Yeah. You might not think this next thing I have on here is is really big, but it actually really is because the Facebook page and the Twitter and RuneScape in general has like exploded because of free to play on yeah. old school RuneScape. I don't know why, but it it was a game. A lot of people quit back in 2012 uh, because of the combat change. Um, it pretty much. What happened? Imagine if World of Warcraft went from uh, the, the tapping buttons all the time to a simplified uh, Skyrim esque uh, you click and you slash type of thing. Yeah. Um, People wouldn't like that. But it's kind of reverse. It came from a click and slash into a, 
uh, buttons pressure. Yeah, and, I don't um, like either. I don't like either. So <laughs> I don't know. But um. But so many much, people do. So Just many saying. people. So many yeah, people like do, do. button pressing combat, and I don't. Pretty much old school yeah, sure. RuneScape got uh, free to play back, and there's like fifty thousand people instead of like twenty thousand people, which is kind of insane. So yeah, if you um, want to check out your old love, go for it, I guess. Yeah, a lot of people liked that game and quit because of combat, which is dumb. I quit uh-huh. because I was like, I can play better games. <laughs> well, you never got into it that much, so yeah, sure. that's true. I didn't get too Quest far. and lore is where it's at, mate. Right? Yeah. But you know, it didn't keep me long enough to get to the quest in lore. Read the books. <laughs> Read the books. Oh my gosh. There's books in the lore. It's amazing. Uh, but anyway, um, Super Mario World is an awesome game. That is literally uh, what he wrote game. here, by the way. Yeah. Like he lit- he put yeah, you know, he what he put. I want to remind the world that Super Mario World <laughs> is one of the best old school games. That's Ever it. Yeah. So. Yeah, just a reminder. It's a really great game. <laughs> it's so polished for what it is back in the time. I mean, it is a good game. It's true. It's, so yeah, it was and just a, I, I, a little random. <laughs> freaking Marco Fire play it, and uh, the music is just like yes. I might play it a third time. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> this has yeah. been the Game Sense Duo Podcast number thirteen. We got through all of our topics. <laughs> yeah, we did. But um, we took it pretty fast. Next time, nah. I like nah. the way we do it. I was going to yeah. be like, next time, psh, nah. I like it. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be streaming some Iron Banner and some Uncharted 3. And in the upcoming week, I'll probably be streaming some good old Persona 4 and maybe some other Vita games. It'll be some good times. Maybe oh, yeah. some Tomb Raider. Maybe It'll be we'll awesome. have uh, people from that followed you that came here too yeah maybe hopefully hopefully Hopefully. yeah but they they didn't they didn't click it like our 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 number 12 doesn't have any more views than it did before so Mm. it's whatever anyways um yeah we'll see you later guys hope you enjoyed let us know in the comments tell your friends to watch it's been a good time yeah so eric you have anything random today um yes i have spearmint gum oh my gosh from stride man you i really keep think i keep thinking that you're gonna run out of stuff but you haven't um, so far. i also have a second item i don't well i mean uh, if you want to keep it for late for another week no nah, that's, nah, that's good that's good i plan on being this the first item but then i saw this item right here i was like i got it gosh. but uh, this is the other item it's 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 a card that says something food uh trademark i'm not sure if you can put this on youtube but you're not getting paid so it doesn't matter so it's a my panera card all right uh, yeah you get free pastries and food at, if, every like month or so it's pretty nice legit. That sounds legit i'm down with yeah. that i can Too get free bacon. live near a panera all right the nearest panera is like forever away i love panera right to it. it's really good get some crunch bagel with almond Almond uh, cream cheese. All right. Well, join us next week where we ramble on about nothing. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, buy, buy a Vita Grip. Play Persona 4. Look at Rick yeah. in the background. That's what I'm going to end it on. Look at him. He's staring at you. Batman. Let me reach over and grab the. Oh, look at him over there. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs>